I'm Alicia Mahill, the Exhibition Development Assistant at the REACH Gallery and Museum. This video will highlight the growth and diversification of Abbotsford's Sikh population through the history of its Gurdwaras. The Gursik Temple was built in 1911, officially opening in February of 1912. The Sikh men who immigrated here primarily worked in forestry and on local farms. Under the cost of the Vaughan Society, this small bachelor community raised the funds to build this unique Gurdwara. Sundar Singh Pandi was instrumental to this project. He helped purchase the one-acre lot that the Gurdwara was then built on. The hilltop property overlooked much of the area. The men carried lumber from what is now Mill Lake one kilometre up the hill to the building site. The wood frame building resembled many Canadian buildings from that time, but the interior showed its purpose as a Gurdwara. The lower floor was used for the Lunger Hall, where communal meals were prepared and eaten, demonstrating the equality of all who took part. The prayer takes place in the second floor of the Bar Hall, where the Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ji is housed. The Gurdwara was both a spiritual place and a community hub. Often, when new South Asian immigrants came to Abbotsford, they could find food and accommodation at the Gursik Temple. Today, the Gursik Temple is a point of pride for Abbotsford's Sikh community as a historic site and as a Gurdwara. In 2002, this Gurdwara was designated as a National Historic Site of Canada, and in 2011, when the community celebrated the Gursik Temple's 100-year anniversary, the Sikh Heritage Museum was established. As the community grew, a second Khalsa Devan Society Gurdwara was built in 1983 across the street. Sutra Singh Pandi, nephew of Sundar Singh Pandi, donated the land for the Gurdwara, continuing the family's long history of serving Abbotsford Sikh community. Mohinder Kortandi, wife of Sundar Singh, was very involved with both the Gursik Temple and the newer Khalsa Devan Society Gurdwara, serving as treasurer of the society for many years. She is noted for being a leader in a male-dominated space, and her contributions can still be seen throughout the Gurdwaras today. Another example of a Sikh woman in a leadership role was our Simran Kaur Tillon. She immigrated to Canada in 1974 and was an active member of Abbotsford Sikh community for over 40 years, serving as the director of the Khalsa Devan Society and dedicating much of her time to Seva, selfless service at the Gurdwara and in the community at large. Over time, the growth of the Sikh population meant greater ideological diversity, which led to differing views within the Gurdwara. A new Gurdwara was needed, and a temporary one is established on Cyril Street. A permanent site was identified on Blue Ridge Drive. However, some residents objected due to traffic concerns. The Sikh community argued that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints had recently been built in the area with no difficulty. The Mormon Church supported the proposed Gurdwara, advocating for it at public hearings. The new Gurdwara, Kalidar Dilbar Sahib, was eventually built, opening in April of 2003. In celebration of opening day, a Nagagirtan, a procession where the Sangat accompanies Guru Granth Sahib Ji, travelled from the temporary site to Gurdwara Kalidar Dilbar Sahib. In 2008, the Baba Banda Singh Bahadur Gurdwara on South Fraser Way opened due to differences within Gurdwara Kalidar Dilbar Sahib. This Gurdwara was named after Gur Bagash Singh, more commonly known as Baba Banda Singh Bahadur, known for his heroic leadership against the Mughal Empire and for abolishing the feudal Zamindari system. A Gurdwara was established in 2001 by Gurmit Center, a non-profit that focuses on educating youth about Sikh heritage, culture and faith. The school operated from the former Glenmore Elementary School and the Gurdwara occupied the former Gifford Church. This Gurdwara was named Bala Pratam Darbar after the child guru, Guru Harkrishan Sahib Ji. The first of its kind in BC, this Gurdwara held a Sunday youth Darbar which focused on telling Sikh history and English to the Sangat. Sadly, Bala Pratam Darbar burned down on August 26, 2010 and Gurmit Center relocated to Gurdwara Kalgida Darbar Sahib. Many former students and family fondly remember their time at the Gurdwara in the picturesque Matsui Prairie. In 1989, the Mission Sikh Temple opened. Prior to this, Mission's large Sikh community had to travel to Abbotsford to attend the Gurdwara. Irwin Braich, along with many of Mission Sikh families, was instrumental in funding the project and securing its location. Community concerns about traffic and property values were overcome and the Gurdwara was allowed to be built. As the Sikh population continues to grow in Abbotsford and around the Lower Mainland, so too will the demand for Gurdwaras in this region, adding to this rich history. 
I hope you enjoyed this video about Gordoras in support of our South Asian in the Valley exhibition. This is only a small part of the history of Gordoras in the Abbotsford Mission area. If you would like to share your stories, please contact info at thereach.ca.